the more deeper and deeper I got into music over the course of my career, um, I just found the importance of like who I am and, the, and my gift and like meeting people and shit and realize that, oh, I'm more than just a rapper. Um, you know, like raps that get people off drugs, raps that, you know, be like, oh, damn, like gangbangers can be like normal people. Like everybody ain't mad. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like meeting people, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here to push the envelope for us because the perception of what we are is not really that. You know what I'm saying? So more people like me need to be around. And for the long, the longer I'm around, the longer I can help, the longer I can guide, the longer I can lead. You know, like I said, you just meet all these people and you travel in the world. And like, you realize like, oh, like I said, you're, you're, you're like a therapist almost to some people. People doing like the, the peel rap, yeah, the, yeah, like yeah. that type of that type of vibe, and then I mean, obviously now but, everybody's on pills. That's why I. That's another thing too. I felt like I did that, and I, that's a, a little thing where I'm like, fuck. So I normally talk about sobriety a lot. You know what I'm saying? Because like I kind of put that out to the world. I feel like I don't know for sure if I'm the first person. No, you know that's tough to say you're the first person, especially in music. But I don't know if I sparked like a a pill rapping thing, but. Um, I don't remember people really rapping about like, you know, ecstasy and shit, but like prescription drugs and yeah. shit. I don't remember people rapping about that type of shit up until I started rapping about it. Do you feel, um, so now you say you rap about sobriety intentionally and stuff. Do you feel guilty for that? I mean, you should a little bit, but not really. I feel guilty, but not really. It's like, oh, well, like if you take feel some way about it, oh, you too. Well, suck a dick, like <laughs> shit. That's how I was. What I was on at the time, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm a different person now. Like, you know, what I mean, I kind of feel bad, but at the same time, I really don't. But it's just like, you know, if you put it out there, it's like if I disrespect you publicly, but I just text you and be like, my bad. Like, I should probably, you know, publicly, like, you know what I'm saying? Say the apology sorry. should be as loud as disrespect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. So if I'm like, if I put it out there, I should, you know. Like I had a song called Druggies with Hoes. It's yeah, like I love that song. You know what I'm saying? It's like that's that's <laughs> you ain't did no drugs. That's one of my favorites. And yeah. I don't never did no, a drug. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, yeah. <laughs> but you know, I remember doing shows and like people used to be like, you know, coming up to me and just always offering drugs to me. Like wow. fans Damn. and shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, oh, so your shit is like, you know, some people he probably I'm not saying I got him on drugs, but I'm I'm damn no sure not helping him quit. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? So like, you know, now if I can show you like, oh look, you can come out on the other side, and I look younger than I did in fucking 2014. Bro, I was like, that shit is hilarious. Facts. Like it's hilarious. It's like <laughs> when we was, what is that like 2010? 2010, 09, 010. It was definitely a different schoolboy. Yeah, yeah. So it's like it's it's like. You can literally turn the whole thing, your whole shit around, just like getting a hobby or like, you know, being honest with yourself. And how, that's how, pretty much what I am with my music, just being honest with myself. How was that with the fans though? Cause I mean, a yeah. certain level of like, people will appreciate that. Like for me, I've been sober seven, seven years myself. Eight, yeah, yeah. eight years, that's right? Good. That's good. Which is amazing, right? But then you have fans that want to see the old Q or like t not, not necessarily evolve with you. Shit, yeah, bye. I'm already Q, shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, like, I'm already cute. Yeah. You either are on the train or shit. You ain't. I ain't tripping. Like, every day I wake up, I'm amazed. Like, that, who the fuck I am? I'm not even joking. Yeah. Every like, day. Every day I wake up, I be like, wow. You know what's crazy? You like, said I, I went to. God. I went to go see. Um, I went to go see Dot at uh, at the in Vegas for yeah. the for the Mr. Morale tour. And I went when we was when it was over with. I was we was back back in the dressing room. I was asking. I was like, "Yo, like, do this shit still trip you out?" He's like, "Nigga, every day, <laughs> no, for like sure. every day. I can't believe this yeah. shit is happening." <laughs> Seriously, it's like you be, you know, you like you said. You remember me, two thousand nine, two thousand. Yeah. I remember y'all. Like we were pulling up to the house and shit and grinding. What was that? Like, Inglewood, yeah, Inglewood. Yep. 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 Like like pulling up. You know what I'm saying? And then to be like. This guy that go to the store and people are like giving you praise. You do a show, it's like sold out. Mm -hmm. You fucking just waking up in my big ass bed, like going to the bathroom. Every time I go, I'm telling you, every time I go to the bathroom, 
I'm like, this is a big ass fucking bathroom. <laughs> Every time, bro. That's gotta be a I'm like, you know what I'm saying? So you sit there taking a the shit like, this is crazy. <laughs> Bruh, <I> every time. <laughs> I got like fancy shitter things now. Like my boy gave me the rich people shitter now, where you put your feet up on <laughs> and you shit, and you got like a, you got like a stand on the sh you know what I mean? It's some weird shit. Dead. I'm like, yo, this is you know what I mean? He's talking about make you shit better. I'm like, yo, whatever. <laughs> but off top bigger. <laughs> but um, yeah, like you know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm growing to you know to push like I said the envelope for, and I appreciate where I'm at in my life. So if somebody don't appreciate it. And all good. I mean, the music is out there. Like you know, that's another thing too. With like rap, like they always treat us like basketball players when we not. Like my my raps ain't you know about bad. Like this ain't basketball for me. Like I get it. Like the fun and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. Like we are, we need those records too. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm not a guy that just make those records. You know what I'm saying? I make records about my life. Like all my albums about my life. So you um, fun too though. Yeah. Yeah, but what I'm saying is just like on a normal like I'm not like a I'm not like club driven or yeah like a super duper duper bop. You know, I'm more aggressive in storytelling more so. Which I mean, you you hear artists struggle with that when when it's time for them to evolve, whether it's through you know parenthood or like you said sobriety, and the fans just aren't ready for that. You know, what I'm saying sometimes artists struggle with. Giving the fans what they want, but also internally, like, no, I gotta, I gotta grow up my damn self. Right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, who, what, what? I'd be lying if I would be like trying to make rap, raps about drugs. Like, I don't do drugs no more, right. so it's like I really don't even know how to do it. Yeah. I mean, I'd be, I'd be panicking trying to. I'd be, I, you know, what I'm saying every now and then I take a little Xanax to go to New York. Like, I be, I can't even find a plug for the Xanax. I'm like, God damn, I really don't know nobody. I just want. A half a fucking man so I can go to sleep on this flight. I can't even get a fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's how sober I am. I don't even know nobody that got any trace of anything. Yeah. I don't know none of that shit. What was the shift for you? Uh, the shift? Yeah, well, cause uh, the I remember drugs? Yeah, having to talk with Chuck about yeah. drinking. What was the change for you? I would say, like, I kind of quit, like, 2015, but I really didn't. Then 2016 came. I quit and then I really didn't. And I would say 2017 is when I was like fully like done. And um, I just, I don't know, I just didn't want to do it no Just more. woke up one day and like, fuck it. Yeah, yeah, I'm one of those people though. Like, you know, like I was on drugs, but I wasn't on drugs like that long. Like, you know what I'm saying? I started smoking weed at like 21. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, wow. like I was never really into drugs and shit. Like I just got on and just was like, I'm an experimental motherfucker. Like I try it, you know what I'm saying? Take a drug and like, oh yeah, that's weak. Oh, I like this one. And it was one of those <laughs> things like, oh, I like this one. What? And I was <laughs> fucking with, uh, you know what I'm saying? Lean and all that shit for like a few years. And then I was just like, all right, I'm fat. I'm, that shit make you fat. Yeah, yeah, I'm like never eating. So you quit like, for vanity. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like, like I'm like, all right, this I'm, is not I'm cool. I'm ugly and shit. I'm fat. Like, yeah, yeah, it just wasn't cool no more. And I was just like, oh, oh. then I just quit. You know, just That's cold wild turkey, because no like, rehab, none of that shit. You having that ability to go cold turkey, right? That's, no, that's and that's like, not something you should do. And that, that's what I'm saying. That's you a personal that. thing. Not everybody can do that. You yeah, know what I mean? So you I, shouldn't I can, do that. I can hear, I can hear the the responsibility and like taking accountability for that and making sure that people understand like, yo, this is just me though. I'm not telling you to be me, but yeah, this is yeah, how yeah. I handle my situation. You know yeah, I, mean? I got lucky though, because you can have a stroke, you can like okay. die, like don't, you shouldn't just pour all this shit out in the fucking Did you, did you trash. go through anything physically? <laughs> Hell yeah. What'd you go through? Like, uh, just like withdrawals and shit, like shivers. I remember us at uh, South by Southwest I was going through his drawers and all I could do, like I couldn't lay on like or touch like soft surfaces. Like I had to be like on the ground, like, <laughs> like it was mad weird. Like and I would like sit on the ground, sit on the ground, but I had some shows and I was getting paid pretty well, like for the shows, and I needed that chili at the time. And I was just on the ground, like what for hours and then had a hard time for the show, and then I'd just be aching all the way up into the show. Then when I get to the show, I feel normal and I do the show. And as soon as I get off stage, I was fucked up again. I had to lay on the floor. Like, um, and that shit happened for like a month. I was just like- Chill, shakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just like jittery and shit. 
Did you, know you know ever hallucinate or anything like that? Because I know people usually do. I, I really don't remember hallucinating. It was just like more body pain and like uh, just like anxiety more so than anything. Like you just gain anxiety, like of like you know just. It's that smoky shit, yeah. you know? <laughs> like, but your body just aches and shit. Yeah. And then you just like, your stomach and shit all fucked up. And then it, it, then it just stops. Okay. <laughs> and then it was just like, all right, I, I guess, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it just... I saw you, um, yeah. I saw you talking about the, the the process of working on on the album. And you started working on this, well, the lyrics for the album. Yeah. Uh, you basically been working on this since Crash Talk dropped. Like, yeah. As far as the album, right? Mm -hmm. So, but the inspiration behind, well, we'll get to that. But when it comes to Blue Lips specifically, is that something like, what, like, <laughs> I know you named the album. I saw the explanation for the album and stuff like that. Like, it's black exploitation and all that kind of stuff. I want to get into that. But when it comes to, did you already have that in mind? Like, this is where I want to go? Because I was I talking to the homies and they was like, yeah. he just want to make a, like, a pro black like a black album. Like, yeah, that was pretty much the direction at first. Like I was like super pro, pro black type why? shit. Um, Cause that was around the time where it was just like a lot of the, the media was feeding us a lot of like black shit, like yeah. that cause for black attention type shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like there's a lot of Black Lives Matter shit. It was people dying. Like, you know what I'm saying? It, was, it felt like a lot of black people were like, almost, you know, like coming together almost in a sense. It seemed like it. Yeah. yeah, but it was all a cap. <laughs> it, was all? Just, it was just a media cap thing and <laughs> black people really wasn't all together. So you don't think black people like... I don't think we got stronger, no. Damn. I think we got worse. Yeah. You know, we're getting worse. Yeah, I think we're uh, dividing ourselves way too much. I think, uh, I think we worried about other, everybody's fighting for some spot that you it's that whatever spot you got is whatever spot you got and I just feel like everybody's fighting for some spot like in our as our people and like also that's why you see nothing but in our world like negative shit or like people just it's no like creativity with anything it's just like reacting to something or like just saying something your dislikes more than what you like. Yeah. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like something like the downfall of such and such. It's like the downfall of a successful person is crazy. Crazy. Man. It's like, what the <laughs> fuck are we talking about? Crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I see some shit like that about me, the downfall of you. I was in You like, watch all the YouTube videos and stuff? You be watching? Yeah, those? I'm like, bro, I'm in like this crazy house. So, so I like so mad records. I did like mad shit in my career. Like the downfall of me is like insane. Like, won't you applaud me for being what I am? You know what I'm saying? It's like, don't no, yeah. the downfall. Like, yeah. bitch, what? I'm the goal. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm the goalpost. Like, what? Like, yeah. I've been the goalpost. Like, well, you know, it's rare for a, 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 a law for a lot of, especially if you're from the streets. Like, what? How many people did it my way? Like. They ain't get to go home to their family and nobody tripping from their hood about me not doing no game banking shit. Right. <laughs> These dudes is like getting in trouble with their hoods and shit. You got people telling them that nobody Can't telling me around. to check in. I'll be damn, you tell me to, you know what I mean? I'm, you know, I'm really from that cloth. So to be able to do what I do and live the life I live, I'm actually the goalpost. Do you have you a know, responsibility a, to kind of speak up more on, on those things, like you said? I do. Yeah. I do. I speak on it all the time. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, speaking I'm, on it now. But I'm saying, because it like, can be shit. easy to, like, again, not feel like your voice is powerful enough or, like, you know, feel like, damn, I can say this, but we can re retract back to, you know, not giving a fuck. You know what I mean? But yeah, yeah. at the same time, you do have a voice and it's powerful, so it's, it's, you know, we applaud you for speaking up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I gotta speak up. Shit, I'm gonna I'm constantly speak up. I mean, the streets ain't that shit cap. If you like, you know, if you're the toughest street guy in 2024, you actually really dangerous. Like, that's you know what I mean. You know, you know, every other generation is sure. like, oh, these motherfuckers ain't nah. If you game banging in 2024, you are dangerous. <laughs> Cause you like, it's no purpose for you to be like, like, bruh, like we just seen generation after generation. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
you know, we know better now at this point of what's right and what's wrong. Not saying you don't have to be a part of the community. Yeah, yeah, that's cool, but you don't have to partake in like dumb ass shit. Like, and just do dumb shit for no reason right. at this point in 2024, where there's cameras everywhere, where- Everywhere. It's just like, and then you, 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 you doing it on camera too. Like, you I letting everybody know you the toughest. They and take you pride still, in that though. Yeah, and you actually are doing it though. You saying you the toughest and then you actually go do some shit. It's like the most like, no, they, they different, bro. I'm telling you, this generation. Like you spoke they, on that on, on Thank yeah. God For Me, talking about this uh, snitching. Yeah, yeah. And, like, but I think motherfuckers are telling on themselves too. No, for sure. That's <laughs> their whole thing. That's <laughs> they, they, and they don't care. They don't care. That's what I'm saying. You dangerous, bro. I'm scared of these little motherfuckers. Like, I don't want no smoke with them. Because they going to smoke you, bro, and be like, I just smoked him. Yeah, right. no camera. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I, I, I smoke you, man, and really smoke you. <laughs> and then be like, I smoked him. I'm telling you, bro, it's different, bro. Like, they different now. They a different type of gangster. They what got it? it. They win. Is they it, This is the most gangster era. <laughs> Of all gangsters, I'm serious. Right. You got it. Because they ain't got no real enemies. All they, your so-called enemies, you cool with them. You only beefing with whoever beefing with you pretty much at this point. You know what I'm saying? You just tripping. Like, <laughs> so I'm cool. It's wild because like, we hear you say that and, and people talk about that, but it is a clout-based era right now. Yeah. So those things nah, that sure. would normally get you in trouble, it's like, oh, that's the thing that's gonna get the most attention. So I think that's what it is. People are just, you know, craving that attention by any means. No, and they and they getting it, and you know what I'm saying, and you know what I mean. Motherfuckers is going live, in jail. They don't give a fuck That's if they wild. come in, take their phone. They you think are. a motherfucker like a motherfucker wanted that much so much attention, he'll go live from jail, homie. Like, bro, you got access to talk to your mom <laughs> anytime you want. You got access to talk to whoop wop. Yeah, you want and now you want attention <laughs> yeah. while you in jail. You trying to keep. You get what I'm saying? It's like wow. But you know, once again, like that's me talking from this side of it. But you know, and it's easy for me to speak from this side of it when some people never saw the other side, you know. But you've never so, been the, you've never been that person to do stuff for attention. In my opinion. no, no, never, never, never. But I mean, um, you know, it's not too late that I'm speaking about it. But um, I could have spoke on it earlier if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Cause now I'm way out of reach too, what when it comes to like uh, streets and like my opinion. Like my opinion matters. Like I said, I'm the. I think I'm the goal, the goal line. But at the same time, I'm not around a lot like that. So a motherfucker could hear it and be like, yeah, yeah. But as soon as something, you know, should be happening weekly in these parts. So motherfuckers got to move how they move accordingly and they got to react. You, um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, I can say that. No what, about, shit. what about the dudes that feel trapped? Because you spoke on that too. Like yeah. As far as feeling trapped, I, I want to, um, on on Blue Slides, you talked My about- favorite songs, by the way. Thank you. Being a prisoner in your house. But then what's crazy is you double back on it on first and you said you felt like a prisoner in your head. Yeah. So like, where does that come from? It's just me just overthinking. Pretty much. He's overthinking. Yeah, yeah, Should yeah. He's killing me. Bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, I, I, and, I, and that's another reason why I said it, it's easy for, on, on one end, somebody can say, I'm going back to the drinking shit or, or you know, sobriety. Somebody can go cold turkey <clears throat> because yeah. that's just their personality. You can easily walk away from it. Yeah. I did cold turkey, so I understand yeah. that. But there are people that I know that struggle, that overthink. That I mean, yeah. people have, it's just depending on who you are. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's like, like especially with the alcohol and the pills, bro. We got to make sure we say that don't go cold turkey. Yeah. Like, it's not, even though we did it, yeah, <laughs> don't do it. That <laughs> motherfucker, you will have a stroke, you will fuck around and die. you like, don't do it. You know what I'm saying? You could really fuck something up in your head. I was paralleling but, that to the overthinking, though, because I'm yeah, overthinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people be like, man, just I'll stop. Oh, yeah, that's easy yeah, yeah, for yeah. you to say. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, nigga, yeah. I'm overthinking. You know but what I mean? I, I, yeah, for sure, I'm an overthinker. But at the same time, you know, um, it got me to where I'm at. Like, I... You know, I've been overthinking my whole life. Like shit, it always what are the led pros me right. and cons to that. The pros is you you give things time. 
And a lot of time, things need time. The cons is you give things time. <laughs> it's the same thing. Right, right. You can take too much time. But sometimes things need time. So you can react to something or I can let it go and then react to it two days later and then it's down here instead of here. You is that what, what is that what you do with the music? Is that why you usually take your take your time? Uh with the music it's just a feeling, bro. Uh -huh. I wouldn't say overthink. I uh overwork, if that makes sense. I don't overthink because I would the way I even rap, I just boop, 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 boop. You know what I'm saying? What I do is I work a little too hard. Um, I kind of learned that from Dot and like uh, being in those Dre sessions, like how hard they worked and just seeing it. So I think I uh, built that into me. Like um, like I said, it's not overthinking. This album been done and I knew it was done. So I'm clearly not like a big overthinker, but at the same time, I just like, I'm addicted to working. Like I'm addicted to like being in the studio, coming up with something like, oh, this might be hard. And then waking up the next day, like this shit is awful. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I don't know. I just love that process of it. And, and it's hard for me to like, let go too, if that makes sense, you know, like, okay. Cause yeah. like I say, I want you, I be saying, I talk about my life and like progression and shit about myself. So. A lot of times I'll be saying shit and it be cap because I haven't done it yet. And yeah. this is what I'm about to do. Like, this is how I'm about to live. This is how I'm about to. So it's like manifesting, speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, me pretty much in the album talking about how I don't neglect and blah, blah, blah. But that's that process of starting of not neglecting, like barely started. I think you know what I'm saying? But I wrote it a minute ago. But I think that's important, though, because yeah. even in even like I know I know you. Right, yeah, yeah. we know each other before, like no, for all sure, this shit. years. But just seeing your growth, like not even fuck the music and all that, but as, just as a man, yeah. like as, yeah. like like I'm a father, like nigga, like you was like, bro, I take my daughter, like you really an active father. No, for sure. And I don't really know like a lot of black men who take immense pride in being a, a active dad. Like he's like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like we be should. beefing low key. Cause he be like canceling interviews wow. and shit. I'll be I, mean, I, mean, right now. I might have to leave now. You know, to pick up my son. Just, yeah. no, you know what I'm saying? Sure. But I'm not a dad, so I can't relate to that, right? But I do respect it because mm -hmm. that's something that we need. And I'm glad that you know you was even when when Joy, right, when she was like little, you was showcasing that like y'all hanging out, y'all playing in the backyard, yeah. you raising the dog. Just like you said, it's important to undo all the drug talk. That shit is equally important. Yeah, yeah. Because it's a lot of men having kids. Not in their life, not taking care of them, not just like, well, shit, that's her problem. Like all that type of time, it's important and it's good that you do that. Yeah. And you put it in the music. Yeah. So I, where I was where I was going with it was you adding that to the music, because I heard you say you don't like when niggas be tweeting, like put that shit in the song. Like give yeah. me the record, right? <laughs> yeah. Like give me the songs. So yeah. the fact that you put that in the music is 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 very important because I feel like when when Dot dropped Mr. Morale, he was talking about therapy. You talked about that before too. Like, um, music is your therapy. Like I think all that shit yeah. in the music because these kids is listening to that, yeah. and they learning the lyrics, and they might just kick a Q kick a Q verse in the car. Yeah, and it might be like, man, I apologize to my girl. Like I'm yeah. a dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. type of shit. Yeah, and and that we kind of came different angles from the therapy. He was like pro therapy, and I'm like pro like homie. When it comes to therapy, I'm like pro, like, you know, like, I'm, how do I say this? Like, like he, I, like, you know, he found something that worked for him really, really good in him and his family. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And me personally, when I did therapy, it made me feel more like shit. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, more so because I was a... Uh, I felt like I got more out of like talking to my homies mm -hmm. in the studio because it was the same kind of thing. And I that it kind of let me know that, oh, we're just not honest as we think we are as people. Because like I get into this room with this person that really, really don't know me and give the whole 100% honest truth. <laughs> and then everybody that I love, I give them 70. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like- That's kind of my mind fuck. Yeah, yeah, it became like a, this is, I'm actually, this is like, I'm actually the problem. Like, it's nothing she can do for me. Like, just look, 
you know what the problem is a lot of the times. When you have common sense, some people, like I said, some people didn't grow up a certain 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 way. Like I had a mom, like, yeah, I'm a, grew up in the streets and gaming, but but it ain't what what you know what I'm saying? My mama went on welfare. I had video games, I had the Jordans, like I was a fly, I was a rich the richest fucking ghetto motherfucker. You were a conscious fucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I didn't have to do I didn't have That's to start banging. Like, like I didn't have money. to do Why none of that. It? I didn't have to do none of that shit. It was just like a thing was just like fuck it, let's let's do it. But um yeah, like I didn't have to do none of that shit. Like I was I was always saucy. I knew I was gonna be saucy. Like like my mom she you know she raised me right and she single mom she gave me like all the discipline I needed to get me to this point. Like she gave me like mad discipline but gave me everything in the world too. Like Do so you feel like you you feel like you benefited from, I feel like I benefited from a single mom and not yeah, having yeah, my dad I did, around. For sure. And I feel like I benefited watching a black woman do that on her own. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I, you, it's true you was born in Germany? Yeah, born in Wiesbaden, Germany. My mom and dad was in the army, um, served in the military. Um, yeah, served in the military. So I was born there, then went to Texas, straight from Germany. And then I think I was I came to LA when I was like I came to LA before I was three, but she was still like active in the military. So it was like back and forth, LA, Texas. And then once it was like over, I was completely in LA. So it was like I was like two, three. When your when your mom said I remember you speaking on your 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 family dynamic and when your mom said like, Do you want to meet your pops? You was like, nah. And she yeah, would ask yeah. you one time. Yeah. She never asked you again after that? No. And you had no desire? I mean, I was already grown when she asked me that. Oh, okay. It wasn't like a, as a kid, she didn't try to like uh, introduce me to him. Um, and I got like, if she said I got like a sister or some shit like my age. But I don't know, like. Do you think you'll ever get to the space where you would want to meet him? No. Why not? <laughs> So he gonna be ass, so I gotta pay for some shit. <laughs> so you pay for some shit. You not schoolboy Q. Let's just say that you not schoolboy Q. You said at any point you would never. Want I would to never want to meet. I'm really? thirty. I'm thirty seven. At this point, like, bro, I'm the man. I look at my. I take pride in that. Like, I'm the first man of like my thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? I have my own. I don't have his last name. I don't have like, you know what I'm saying? I'm literally the first man of my own family and, and you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, of my tree, yeah, if that makes nice. sense. Yeah. So I don't want to know that I'm second <laughs> when I meet this That's fucking ego, guy. Fool. You damn right it's ego. You, you had 30 some years to see me. Like, bro, like I'm at a period of my life where I don't need you. Like, I don't, I never had a father. Oh, well, big fucking deal. Like, Bro. Get over it. It's like I am a father though, and yeah. I know how to raise my kids. And but you know my how kids love that me. is and the connection that, that you have with your kids. Like you, yeah, yeah. And, and not to say you have to have this whole family reunion kumbaya yeah. moment, but it's like there's no nope. Wow. Don't want to see him. Mm -hmm. Don't want to meet him. If it ever happens, am I? If he was to reach out, would I say no? Nah, I wouldn't say no. Okay. But I'm not looking for it. And yeah, I don't think don't he know who I am. You don't gotta like, be looking for it. Mine yeah. reached out and I had a conversation with him. Okay. And, and it was it, we still haven't had a face to face like man like the. So you but have you did you know what he looked like? Oh yeah, I look just like him. And like the whole like, like I knew what he looked look like look and all the shit. Identical to him. Damn. Same name and everything. I'm Damn. a junior. Oh, and a junior. Yeah. I'm a junior fool. It's ugly. <laughs> and you don't even care. <laughs> no, that's out of pocket. <laughs> You gotta change your name to the first. Yeah. I don't got that ego like you, nigga. I don't know. Yeah, I'm changing my name to the first. You got me fucked up. I don't up. think it worked like that. Right. Shit. You know, what you course. mean? Motherfucker changed his name to Ocho Cinco. You don't think you can put first on the end of your name? Get the fuck out of here. I ain't no job, man. But I feel you, though. I feel you. I feel you. I'm not, I'm, I'm not. not. I'm not with it, though. I'm not with it. I don't, I don't need to, you know, I know my background. Um, that's it, like where you come from and shit. That's all I needed to know, just like some genetic shit. Other than that, I don't give a fuck about. What if he want to play golf with you? And he be, and he whoop your ass though? He would never want to play golf with me. He's somewhere struggling right now. There's no way he, he lived the life he lived with a, me going on by my life and he ain't struggling at this point in my life. 
of his life. He's going through something for sure. I feel you. You know what I mean? He's yeah. going through something. So what, what he advice, can't be healthy. What advice could you give to, to fathers? I asked you this before, but you only had joy at the time. So now that you have two, yeah. what, what's been the biggest change from one going on two? Because I've been doing dad uh, advice for some time, right? And ain't nobody <laughs> told me about the second child being completely different from the first child. Yeah, completely different. My second child, I'm still working on her. She, I've been working on her for a while, but she just don't, she's not joy. Joy, like, you know, respected me, listened to me. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, yes, uh, I, know, I know exactly what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, have a little fear mm -hmm. of me. Um, you know, won't, won't disrespect me. Like, you know what I'm saying? The like, second one disrespect Won't me. talk back. Like, my daughter never talks back mm -hmm. to me. Never. Um, my little one? Complete opposite. Hates me. Don't <laughs> care. Yell loud. Yeah. Shut up. No. I need this advice. What Shut do you up. mean? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, like I just started recently being, because I never been. I'm not like a yeller or like being mean. Like I just had to reverse on this one. Like oh, I have to like actually be mean. I can't be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's getting older. She's getting older and older, and she's Don't still doing be, it for sure. So okay. it's like. Okay, I can't take the joy. I, I had to accept that that I can't take the joy route with her. So how, how long shit, did it take for you to realize that? How, so as how of recently, you, okay. Once I stopped with the album and shit, like um, you know, I realized, all right, I gotta be mean. I, mean, I have A to be bit. mean. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, cause I was always against that. If you gotta yell at your kid, you're not a good parent. Mm -hmm. You don't know, but that's not true. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> so you have to yell. Yeah. You know? And if your kid got trauma from you yelling, bro, tell your kids stop acting like a little bitch. <laughs> like, bro, like people out here getting their ass whooped. You know what I'm saying? You <laughs> motherfucker got trauma now because you got yelled at yeah. by your parents. Get I don't the feel fuck like you see here. me, dad. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah I'm just, like, they be preaching that shit now, too. Oh, careful what you say to your kid. Like, bro, I just yelled at my fucking kid. I'm a daddy, motherfucker. Like, mm -hmm. like you know what I'm saying? Everything is, like, traumatizing now. It's like, bro. So, you know, I had to yell a few times now. I'm, I'm raising my voice and, you know, grabbing her. Not like, nah, none of that shit. But, like, grabbing her, looking at her, and, like, being kind of firm. Letting her know, like, hey, you can't do this or can't say yeah. this. I don't want just, to go to urgent care today. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, just you know, just putting her in 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 her place to respect me as a fucking dad, mm -hmm. you know, and making her sister do it and her mom and like, you know, don't let her disrespect me, you know, putting them in position too to say, you lost your fucking mind. Let her know, like, you know, we it's a, a family thing. Like, we have to do like. You know what I mean? She can't just be just talking to me crazy. Everybody in the house needs to trip. Like, oh, you know what I'm you get what I'm saying? saying? Like I'm a fuck I'm your fucking father. Like, you no know, way you disrespect And you're a good be, dad. Yeah, like <laughs> the fuck I wouldn't let her disrespect the mom. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? And like, you know what I mean? Like I'm gonna be on it. So it's a whole family thing where, you know, cause like like I said, we not like yellers and shit. Like so Joy was so fucking easy. He was like the perfect fucking kid. And now I got this fucking Calabasas fucking rug rat, <laughs> Grey Poupon. She thinks she just get everything served with Grey Poupon and fucking caviar for dinner or something. Like, get the fuck out of here. I don't know that shit. Right, but that's you know what I'm saying? Labor. That's that hard work that you put in so that she nah, can have that life, right? That, that's some bullshit. Like, she got, that shit is fairy tale. That ain't her house. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> She you mentioned on the album about, about uh, needing to be a deadbeat to let the kids eat or something like that. I'm not yeah, paraphrasing yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. So when, can you kind of expound on those moments and when you felt like that? I mean, shit, my whole career, you feel like that at some point. You like, you know, you you bouncing around. You on tour. Mm -hmm. You can be going, like, my first few years, like, bro, I was I lived on the road, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, from 2012, 2011 to 2011. 2011 to like 2017, mm. I lived on the road, bro. So think of, that's years, yeah, bro. Yeah. And pivotal years too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Years of missing out on joy shit. And I would still be there for a lot of shit, but just missing out on little things, like missing our first steps, Mr. Bourne. Damn. 
you know what I'm saying? This is my heart. Like, I'm super duper close with my oldest. Like, you know, and I missed out all these shits. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but, you know, I had to do what I had to do. Not only that, I was, I love, I would do music for free, but I had the opportunity to get paid <laughs> to do it. And it was a, a nice paycheck to set us up for these times. So, you know, and with her being the oldest, so it was important for me to have more kids. You know, she had to, you know, I was building something strong and consciously knowing and I'm going to have more kids. Um, just consciously knowing that she, you know, the oldest needs to be the strongest. And yeah. I want her to be super, super strong. She was my first, she my heart. I had her when I was 22, like, and tried to have her. Like, oh, you intentionally? Yeah, yeah. At 21, we made the plan to have her wow. while Damn. I was in jail. Um, through the phone, she's a fucking idiot. Like I said all the time, my girl's a fucking idiot. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna have a baby while I'm in jail. Why I'm in jail? the phone. What a fucking so, idiot. Okay, hold on. The dumbest fucking piece. Why what are you a making idiot. that pack on the phone? <laughs> Imagine your daughter doing some dumb ass shit like that. Talk about she gonna have a baby by this dude that's behind bars. Like, fuck it, you fucking idiot. I would have slapped the shit out of You bet not. <laughs> so if Joy's on the phone one day. <laughs> With somebody in the in, in jail yeah. or the hell no. Nah. I'm gonna grab hell no. Nah. Get out. Click. Get out, get your shit together, then we'll figure it out. Boop. Come on. Would you would you bail her boyfriend out for her? Depending if I'm close, hell yeah. Okay. If she if she loves somebody, yeah. Um, I'm not against her dating, like in high school and none of that shit. Like I'm not one of those dads. Are um, you? How are you gonna be as once that once that starts coming? Like bring the nigga to the house, let me talk to him. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Like chill out. Like if he cool, like shit, cool. I mean, I ain't about to be condoning fucking and shit in my house. <laughs> no, and like, you know what I'm saying? None of that old saying. shit. But That's you crazy. know what I mean? I mean, it's the truth. Shit, I was fucking in high school. It's just the truth, reality, bro. Do you have real like, nigga conversations with her? Kinda. Yeah. She not there. She nine. No, no. my daughter, Joy. Nah. Joy. What? Joy in high school, bro. She about to be 15. Bro, oh, we saying. old, bro. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Oh, we old for Joy real. Joy about to be 15 next month. Oh, no, that's she in wow. high school, bro. She in the ninth grade. I just really, she... I just really how old <laughs> we are. Because I remember when, you, when she was like, just, you just got her. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my. Yeah, it's kind of like she had Amazon. Yeah, yeah. She's Amazon, you just got her. No, I'm just saying. Like... I flew her in, dog, from Amazon. <laughs> oh, that's but wild. Nah, she... She basically, she's 15, bro. She's a grown up. She's like, we have like grown up conversations. Damn. Like, we're like, I didn't even have to put her up on game. She already knew what was going on. And my mom is like, my mom is like the, she's awful. That just fucked me My up. mom is like awful. She tell her. Tell her everything. Like she's straight. She's the one that's straightforward. I don't even got to say shit. Like, you know, like. Don't be, you know, don't put your mouth on no dick. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's my mama. Oh. So there it is. All right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't, don't do, do that. You gonna get, you'll get herpes. What? You do this, you gonna, you gonna get that. Don't be uh. Yeah, that's a crazy conversation. Uh, don't you be uh like like God damn she's like a don't even shit like yeah yeah like <laughs> what are you doing? like you know what I'm saying like so it's like bruh she so I don't, I don't even gotta say shit and we do talk and you know we talk but it's mainly about sports she really in the sports my daughter like a, a athlete I like an athlete you athlete. got shit that in common too you, you play yeah baseball. yeah yeah I play sports growing up so I'm big on sports too because it teaches something in life. It's, that's another thing about like with the streets and life and all that shit. My coaches was my pops. Like, so I, I never needed one. Like I always was into sports. Like, and it taught me the competition. It taught me that sometimes somebody may be better than you and you gotta just work harder. Sometimes you gotta, you know what I'm saying? It no taught excuses, me. no excuses. Yeah, yeah, it taught me like, you know, you just gotta outperform somebody or accept your role. and. And and be great at that role. Like regardless, it's it's, it's options though for you. Do you believe yeah. in part? Because I think the problem with society where we at now, it's mainly due to with white people. But now like that. But I'm talking about like with participation trophies. I don't believe in participation trophies, but I also yeah, no. don't have a kid, right? Yeah, yeah. So I don't have that layer of compassion that y'all might have. Like, oh, it's cool, you did a good job. Like, no, bro, you lost. Yeah, like, but um, I, I think. At like five and shit, like right now my daughter, she's 
five and she's getting like to participate. Do I think that's cool? Yeah. You think it's cool? Like, it's like five, bro. They don't even know what they're doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? You just want them to keep coming back. So if you get them in a losing mind state early, it can like kind of wipe them out, especially if they're good at various of things. Like my daughter is really good at it, a bunch of things, but she gravitates to soccer because her older, my her older sister plays soccer. So you know, right now if she doesn't play, you know, even when we in the backyard, then like we just playing soccer, kicking the ball around. If I'm like do a move and do she mess up, she don't want to play no more because uh, she can she can do something else. Discouraged. She's good at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right now it's like it's cool to just keep them coming back, keep them coming back, ease them in, ease them in. And then once it's time to fight, which is pretty much next year, six, seven, in all sports now, like six, seven, it gets serious. Like kids are like really good. And uh, you either going to figure out you want to do this or you're not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy because we, we've talked about knowing you guys for so long, man. And now, even I just want to stick on this on this with fatherhood as well. Now you guys are all dads. You yeah. Know we talking you, you know, rock, oh, rock, soul, yeah, soul, and, and dot. dot. Yeah. How, do, how do you guys bond over fatherhood, or do you guys bond over fatherhood? Uh, we kind of like don't bond over fatherhood because we all like. I think we were so close together and was with each other so much. We really don't kick it like mm -hmm. that. That happens. It's life. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we talk to each other a lot, mm -hmm. Facetime each other a lot. Like me and Dot was just FaceTiming. I mean, um, well, not FaceTiming, talking on the phone. Um, just about our kids. Me and So was just talking about our kids. Me and Rock, he was somewhere with his daughter doing some shit. And it's just like, you know, I think that's where our lives kind of took us now. We're like, actually, you know, like, we're like really daddies. Like, real we're dad. not like a uh, rapper dads dad. Too. I yeah, about yeah, that. yeah. All of us. Wow. Yeah. Oh, Doc I got know a little is. boy. Doc got a little boy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, all of us are girl dads. Damn. Um, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised you don't have a girl. Nah, you got we, two I'm boys, done. but. I'm done, dog. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> right. done. I'm done. You said you want to have more? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So look, you want, are you going for the boy? Yeah, I'm going to have a boy. Okay. He got the. He I got wanted the, all girls, but I'm going to have a boy. He got the, the, the snip snip. Oh, you went and did the thing? I'm done, he went bro. and did it, bro. I'm done, dog. So, bro, I'm done, hey, dog. Look, look, it's a wrap. Hey, you look, bro. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, look. Hey, look. Done, dog. Hey, nah, this is way. Bro, <laughs> in real life. I'm right. done, dog. In real life, he went and did it. Mm -hmm. So, wait, 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 wait. When you, wait, wait. <laughs> he so got questions. I mean, I, I'm an open book, bro. What's up? So, wait. <laughs> So is it like air now? No. When no, you finish, no. is it air? No, it's not air. No. Like, no. like no, no, it's, home, it's not, like pause. Yeah. But I'm just curious. There. Like, like is, is it like, bro? Like, what the fuck happens now? Like, it's all there. It just the, the soldiers don't march. <laughs> <laughs> it's there. The soldiers don't march. You know what I'm saying? There's <laughs> no no scare. Well, 99. percent they say 99%. Hey, bro. Hey, it's bro. Right, bro. Damn, you right, cold. You cold. <laughs> you ain't got up. the woo-wop. No, I got the woo bro. Oh, my God. Yeah, Is that man. something that you would ever entertain? Never. <laughs> I mean, we, you know, two different brackets of life. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's, yeah. I, I can't. Nah. Man. Shit. Bro. I'm good, man. I think, I think I'm I'm happy. I'm happy with my choice, bro. I really I'm am. not mad at you, bro. Really but shit, I ain't getting neutered. I'm cool. <laughs> You ain't got neutered, it's crazy. My dog's not even neutered. I got two of This motherfucker went and got neutered. That's crazy. No. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, hey, you crap. I'm done, dog. I ain't mad. Hey, man. Oh. Hey, bro. I feel you, dog. No, I don't feel you. Know, you I don't feel you. I don't, but <laughs> at the same time, bro, this shit, damn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if it if it helps any, it's reversible. So if okay. I change my mind, I can. Oh, you, know, you can reverse yeah, it. I can reverse it. I'm not Did that shit it. hurt? Nah. Like you just gonna oh, put yeah. you to sleep yeah, and you, you just. Sleep. It's literally a six. You just process. wake up and it just. Six, six minute, months. Six minute, bro. Six oh, minute I thought process. you said six oh, months. I'm about to say, no, bro, no, no, that's no. a half. Boy. I went to, to be fair. I was super hesitant about it, and then did some research on it. I'm like, okay, it's not what I thought. Yeah. Uh, it. 
I ain't gonna go into details, but it ain't it ain't crazy. Like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. So <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, cool like I'm cool on details. I'm cool, champ. I'm good, my nigga. My boy got a bean shooter. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Remember the bean shooters, bro? With the balloon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we're gonna be a shooter now, dog. Oh man, no bullets, <laughs> all beans. Damn, man. Um, I forgot what the fuck I was for to ask you about. <laughs> you <fucked> was, <laughs> he said you got neutered. You know exactly what's going on. That's crazy. Um, what, I, I want to know what what does accountability mean to you, though? I mean, because it's a thing throughout the album and kind of really showing up for yourself and kind of looking at looking in the mirror. And, you know, you know, we talked about fatherhood. We talked about all that. But for you, what does what does accountability look like? Common sense. A lot of times we don't use common sense for a lot of things. Um, and, you know, like I said, if you said something wrong, make it right. Um, accountability is, you know, knowing that shit. I got a kid and nothing should be more important to that. Even though I do put my music first more than anything. And I'm still going to do it, but, you know, um, accountability is knowing that. I got to go just that hard as with my family when it's family time and leave that alone when it's time to leave that alone. If that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Be present. Um, everything just re revolves around family with me at this point. Except your dad. Yeah, except your dad. <laughs> you know, fuck that guy. <laughs> Don't come around now, motherfucker, trying to get, you know what I mean? Do you do you uh when you making the music, I know you don't make you don't think about critics when you're making the music, but when now that the music is out, do you care about what critics think about the music and stuff like that? Uh be honest. I I'm trying to be here. Let me see. Do I care a little bit, but not really. Not because, enough to change anything. Yeah, but, I, not enough to change anything. Right, right, right. I think once you start caring that much, you're not really good. Cause I remember, I remember I was at the studio one day and you kicked me out, right? Hey, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was, <laughs> but it was, you just popped up. I laughed that motherfucker. I'm like, wait, <laughs> who the fuck is that? Cause nobody never comes to that studio. Right, right, right. You get what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but you was like, I'm finna record here. You got a roll, my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, you my boy. You my know boy. You know that right now. <laughs> nah, you my boy. <laughs> you know that you my boy. But that's just how I record. No, but no, I just I like, it. just you know what I mean? Like, I don't. Yeah, like the people that was in there. Yeah, you know, I don't know, man. That's just how I recall. No, I, I get it. Trust me, like, I know. Yeah, it's a creative yeah. process because they yeah. told me about the. I know about the jam sessions and like. Was it out? The reason why I brought it up, I have this um, Rolling Stone thing I want to read you, but um, the second part of that studio is the way you the way you create is like a composer. Yeah, yeah, I am. I'm more of a composer than I am a rapper. I'm more of a producer, composer. Engineer, more yeah. than I am a rapper. Cause like you'll literally sit there and you record, and you be like, "All right, now I want to do this on top of this," or yeah. you'll record while niggas is yeah, playing yeah, shit. Yeah. Like it's just it's it's a different. I've never really seen that before. Yeah, um, it's just like that, that always been you. Or where you get that from? Um, I got the, well, I got I got all that shit, them tricks from like Dre Dot and like uh, Stevie Wonder. Like you were you watch Stevie Wonder record. No, 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 no. Like, I mean, YouTube. And oh, shit. okay, got you, got you. Like, uh, just like interviews and just hearing people talk and like Bob Marley, like uh, watching him, like you know, wake up in the morning have this regimen of like soccer, then you know making everybody work out pretty much, and then from there go straight to the studio. Musty as a motherfucker, <laughs> but they were going, but, but they was in that bitch cooking, you know what I mean? And they, you know what I mean? So it was Making like, that a, shit. you know what I mean? It was just a thing, like just feeling. And whenever you want to piece it together, you can do that shit on your own time. But right now, let's get some feeling let's of what we're trying to do. Like, cause you know, I'm all about direction. I really don't, like I said, I really don't care about like- What people think. Yeah, yeah, like what I'm on is what I'm on. Um, and more artists should feel like that. Don't get me wrong. Like, if you want somebody's opinion that you respect, yeah, bring them in. Like, but I more so want people that can contribute more so than just give me their opinion. Because everybody has an opinion. Facts. So you liking it, it's like, ah, thank you. But at the same time, you just liking it. It's like, ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> but like how you gonna add to this shit? yeah yeah like can you add to it that's my whole thing like 
when it, that's the whole thing about making music and a bunch of people in the room is like people add to shit. Like, so I always got musicians with me. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I'm maybe somebody come up you you got a hook? Lay it right yeah. quick. Just fuck around, be on the album. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, like if you in that motherfucker, you gotta contribute. Like you can't just be in there waiting for the finished product and then just say, Yeah, it's good or not. <laughs> yeah. Like me and my like we yo, we gotta be in that bitch. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? Everybody. Um, so I'm gonna read you this and then you tell me what you think. Okay. It says after the disappointing 2019 album Crash Talk <laughs> steered too heavily into the latter. Uh, Sonic Direction Q went on an unexpectedly long hiatus, only occasionally resurfacing with loose leaves. Uh, bl thankfully, Blue Lips returns to the dynamic stylings of Blank Face um, with there a few important go. twists. And, huh? There, see, you go. there you go. My uh, bad, I'm cutting you up. Nah. Bad. And with Kendrick Lamar having departed TDE uh, for his own imprint, it represents a moment when listeners can fully appreciate Q for his singular ability to craft compelling, thought-provoking gems without resorting to comparisons between him and everybody else. I felt like, to me, like when I when I read, I was reading an article about, about cause like when niggas come out, like I know I have my opinion, I'm yeah. very opinionated, but I wanna know like what other people are thinking as far as like people that I don't know, right? Yeah, Just, yeah. So I'll read random articles and album critiques and stuff like that, but I thought it was fair. I didn't think the album was, the, the Crash Toy album was disappointing, but I thought it was a fair critique because this is a Q album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like this is like, yo, to be honest with you, I'm going to keep it real with you. Your albums don't really sound like nobody else's shit. And no. I, I know you do that intentionally. Yeah. Because you hate when niggas rap on the same, I always hear you talk about, man, you rapping on the same beats everybody rapping on. Yeah, like, yeah. make some different shit. Even when, I don't even know how to say yearn the, the right way. Yeah, yeah. But when that came out, I'm like, this don't sound like nothing. And it kind of yeah. remind me of Ye, to be honest with you. Like, yeah. The way Kanye put his music out. Even the Vulture shit, that shit don't really sound like nothing else going on either. Yeah. And I know you do that intentionally, so I thought it was a fair critique. Um, I, 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 I accept it. Hopefully they're black. I don't know who. who um, but, uh, yeah, uh, my whole thing with that shit is, like, you know, dope. But, you know, they also, like, could have not said. The disappointing shit. Yeah, like, what was disappointing? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, oh, for the, for the crash talk. That's what I'm saying. It's like instead of focusing on things that they like, they so focused on things like the pessimism. Yeah, and it's like, bro, I'm all right. I don't know, but I mean, you know, I thank you. I guess shit. Yeah, no, I, I mean, know. like, I, I don't know what to say to it. It's like, I mean, I don't know them. You know, that's they their opinion. Sound like they like the album. But I mean, they compared it to Blank Face. Once again, they just, people are, they don't know how to let go. Mm -hmm. Like, you shouldn't, this, has, this sounds nothing like Blank Face. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, it don't. Yeah. Because I put an album together, like, it sounds like Blank Face. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, nah, like, I, I don't fuck with that part. Did, did, is and your... I don't fuck with the backhand compliment. Just the back... give me the compliment. Let like, it, and if you don't like something, like I said, that's cool. Like, but we're talking about this now, and you just have to revert to comparison of what I'm not even a comparable. You can't compare <laughs> me to any artist. So why are you trying to compare my albums to each other? Like I intentionally go, like you said, I go different every album every intentionally. Time. So don't be trying to like compare my shit like enjoy whatever you enjoy you know what i'm saying like or don't regardless it's cool like as long as you ain't disrespectful you know what i mean like um but yeah don't don't compare my shit man like enjoy it so I've, I've seen you i've seen you compare your own albums rank your own albums yeah if you had to rank the covers <laughs> all right if i had to rank the covers i would say Setbacks is still the worst. Um, then I would probably go Blue Lips, uh, Blank Face. Um, Crash Talk. Um, Habits and Oxymoron. Oxymoron is, is a goaded. 
that's a golden cover. That's that's like one of the, yeah that that cover alone, bro. You see that shit, like you know what I mean. You know exactly what that is. Like oh, that's oxy. That's you know what I'm saying. Like that 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 cover is just like come on. I'm surprised to hear that that with the art talk that Blue Lips is ranked as low as it is for you. Yeah, because it's like a um, it's just lips and teeth. <laughs> but it's, 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 it's dope. It's really, 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 really dope. Some about just the teeth and the lips was just a little unsettling. It's like this album cover. I'm like, yeah, this album cover. And then I was just thinking, like, fuck, I can sell a lot of this shit. <laughs> I'm like, I can sell hella. And then I sold a hella shit. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, look, that looked like something somebody want to collect. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like, make everything like a, a art. Like, if I'm an art and I'm always about art and I do art and shit, why don't I just make art pieces, shit that people would want to collect? You hang that vinyl on the wall, that shit looks sick. To some people, it may look like, ah, yeah. But guess what? It ain't for your wall. Mm-hmm. Probably Damn. don't got a big enough wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shout out. laughs> I'm joking, but I am serious. <laughs> but but you know what I'm saying? Like I want my shit to be pieces. I want to be able to, when people put them vinyls up and shit and them CDs up and on the wall, I want that shit to be like, you know, like a fucking action figure, like seasons. I know you drew inspiration. You said from black exploitation. Yeah. Uh, Coon skin. Yep. The Mac. Yep. Uh, Miseducation of Sonny Carson. Yeah. You had these on in the studio while you was creating. Yeah, nonstop. For what? Uh, just to look at and just like, like I said, it started off on some black shit and just like, you know, how I looked at it as like, you know, white people using black people for our shit. And, you know, you look at entertainment, like no black people actually run anything. You know what I'm saying? And we're all, we, but we set the standard for everything. And I was just trying to get on that. And, um, it just led me to myself. You know, I was trying to talk about the world and what was going on, and I just kept all the bars were me talking about me. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which became, oh wow. shit, I was cooning the whole time too. I was Damn. doing this the whole time too. I was doing this. You know, I was trying to point the finger more so like, you motherfuckers ain't even black, but it was like I was doing like the exact same thing. Mm. So it ended up being the same thing where I was trying to take it, but just me in the mirror. What is cooning to you? Um, doing something you don't want to do for some publication that don't care. Uh, doing a lot of golf shit I did, and they were only using me because I'm black, and I knew they were only using me because I'm black, and they would like try to make me more black. Doing what? What do you mean golf shit? Uh, like, like, like PGA Tour? Or are you talking about I mean, like anything, the video like, game? Or? Like, uh, the video game was one. I've been getting on their ass the last couple of years. Like, you know, like imagine telling a black guy, all right, yeah, uh, bring your grills. Damn. Oh, shit. For the, the shit. And it's like, what? Like, all right, tell the Mexican guy, right, bring your sombrero. Yeah. Make sure you bring your sombrero. Or like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like I'm already black, bro. Like you don't have to like extra black me out. Like oh, he has any jewelry? Can he bring you a chain? The, can you bring the bling? You got yeah, the bling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, bro, I get what you black. say. I get. And what then you I did it like in the Tiger Woods commercial. Damn. And it was just like you wasn't happy with what you saw from yourself. Fuck no. Even when they tell me do it, and they just made me do the shot over and over again. All right, put your grill in. <laughs> Cut, do it again. Cut, do it again. Cut. It's like, God damn, how black, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm already black. We already talking about it. Like, yeah, we know it changed, but I don't, you know, like, it's not like my whole, you know. I'm more than a grill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not really the whole thing. So, like, just being aware and, like, doing things, like, like even, like, me saying, White people could say the N-word at my shows. Like, back in the days, I said that. Like, 
I, I don't feel like that no more. But like I said, it's a different time in my life. Like, so now it's like I I agree with you though. I'm it's, more black now than I was then. Like you you get older and you tap into your roots more. Facts. You tap into you travel. You see what people been going through. You see. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, people really struggled for us to get to this point and really went through some shit and for us to just be like... Like some days ago? Just... Yeah, yeah, and act like we really a part of America when we're not. I know, feel that. Like just, you know what I'm saying? I, I do want to ask you about when you take your hiatus, right? We see you pop up, pop up. And I tell people all the time, well, we've had these conversations before. It's like, are you really away? Or are you like... Tapping never into away. social media. And I'm like, never away. Okay. I'm always watching. That's I'm always watching. We tell people this shit all the time. It's like, yo, they're not. They not. They're, they're more tapped in than you believe. I'm way more tapped in. I'll be with everybody. I'll be thinking that yeah. be the ones. I'll be, I'll be chilling with them, hanging with them. Mm-hmm. What they, you know, shit, the motherfuckers be tapping into me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, shit, I'll I be, I'll be out there. But, I mean, you know, I'm just... I just don't always have my phone out type mm-hmm. shit. And I don't like being around phones pretty much when people do all that shit. Yeah. Like, you know, a lot of my, you know, everything ain't for content. Mm-hmm. You know, when I'm making music, I'm making music. And then I'm on social media and then I'm talking, I'm engaging. It ain't really to sell the album. It's really just, I have something to say now and I'm gonna say it. I think sometimes, a lot of times we talk so fucking much that we don't have you only learn when you listen. So right. the person that talks the most to me is you ain't really. I don't know what the fuck you bring to the table. I was telling I was telling people because they they everybody asked me about like four people. You one of them, right? Yeah. Specifically because from we from here, right? Yeah, yeah. So they asked me. I'm like I'm like bro. Them niggas ain't ducked off like that. No, like the niggas no. be, they see everything. I remember talking to Rhapsody about this. Uh, sorry, rap, but I remember yeah, talking to Rhapsody. Shout out to Rhapsody. I remember talking to Rhapsody about this uh, during Grammy week, and I was like, "Rap, like, where you been? Like, we need you. What's going on? Like, what the fuck? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, make, put some music out. Like, I need, I need, we need to balance this shit out. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, what's going on? She was like, "I'm like, I know you be ducked off," and she's like, "Oh no, I'm not ducked off here." I'm like, "What you mean?" She's like, "I watch everything." Yeah. She said, like, "I want to make sure sh- I watch everything just in case one of these one of these girls get out of pocket, and I gotta, you know, sit, yeah. you know, make make my presence felt or whatever." And I be trying to explain that about you and other people, like you know, Dot and whoever. Like, no, they they see everything. They be paying attention. They tapped in. Like Q ain't Q know that you said that about him. Oh uh, no, for sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like for sure. You Q just... know that you said that about him. He ain't gonna respond or say nothing to you, but he uh, know you said it. No, and I'm gonna see you too. <laughs> but they don't. They don't. But nobody like people. I'm. I'm blessed that most people don't. You know, say it's, if if it's somebody down talking to me is normally just like the music. Yeah, it's music. It's, yeah, it's not... and that, that's cool. That's fine to me. Yeah. Like I said, that's like all good. Uh, you you ain't popping unless you got somebody that don't like you. Like it's somebody that's not gonna. People don't like Michael Jackson, you know? Facts. believe it or not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, so it's like, what the fuck? Who the fuck I think I am to have somebody not like me? But the people don't be, you know what I'm saying, be getting at me sideways. But, you know, but even with that, like I said, I'm going to come see you. Well, I'm not really going to come see you. But if I see you, I'm going to address it. Yeah. And I'm not trying to fight or nothing, but. You want a better understanding. Yeah, like, what was the purpose of you disrespecting me? Mm-hmm. If somebody was to disrespect me, I'm a, I would never respond, like you said, right. never. Like, what? I'm not, I'm way more secure than that in my, with myself to know, like, you know, sometimes people are howling at the moon. Like, mm-hmm. I wouldn't go out my way for some shit that it's probably not beneficial. You know, only can either brew somebody up or bring me harm. There's no win in that. But, you know, if I do see you, I'm like, yo, what up, bro? Yeah, yeah, nah, nah. And then normally, you know, I didn't have this with personal issues more so than, like, in the media or anything. Like, personal issues with people just talking slick. And it's like, bro, you know me, though. Like, and you see them, and they be nice as fuck. And it's like, see? Yeah. Like, this be nice. See, I'm nice, too. <laughs> like, you're a nice guy. You know you, you know who to play with now. You, you see me in person. Now you can say whatever you want to say. You're nice as fuck. 
So just be nice and be nice friends and shit. You talked or, about uh, <laughs> or, yeah, or do do should do something. You talked about uh, uh, your responsibility, like with the drug stuff, and then talking about how sober you are now. Do mm-hmm. you feel the same responsibility for uh, giving a platform to other artists? You know how people, how Dot and everybody will share their stuff with you or whoever the case may be. I heard you speak about that too, which was which was dope because you never hear people being grateful yeah, yeah. for what people have done for them. Yeah. But like um, Devin Malik. Yeah, is on the album, right? Yeah, yeah. And I wasn't familiar with Devin Millie before that. Rancho, album. right? Yeah. Um, is that something that you have a desire to do? Put people on, be an executive, sign artists? Yeah, I want to go to the uh, executive side more of it, but I mean, the music business is so janky and so scandalous. I don't know even know if I can do it. Um, I mean, I put on shit. A few of TF. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Just Shout going up. Uh, you know, and that's my homie. We from the same soil. So that's one of my proudest things to see him to be out here moving around and, yeah. you know, and he where we from, too. like people hate us, bro. People love to yeah. So to see that, to see him get the same thing and, and to carry was, himself the way he carry himself. I was in know. situations with TF where it was people there that shouldn't have fucked with him and they fuck with him. That's what I'm saying. And it's respect. And I and that's I thought that was saying. super dope. That's and that's is what you put out is what you get, bro. Yeah. You know, he don't go around acting like he the toughest dude. And this is a dude that really, you know, we was me and me and my homies was really out there. And Knucklehead. this this idiot tried to rob a bank. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And now he out here getting love. Yeah, right. This fucking idiot. You know, tried to rob a bank. I couldn't even get him in Australia. Like, bro, you, your dumb ass tried to rob a bank, bro. You know, you're, you're not getting in, bro. Yeah, not letting like, you come over here. I didn't rob a bank, bro. I robbed a house. You robbed a bank. <laughs> Bye. You, yeah. Know, yeah. you <laughs> gotta figure this one out. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta figure this one out. You two scandals. It was two. Oh, you two scandals. But scandalous. you know, like mom. Um, yeah, him, Devin. Um, Put Trike on the album. Yep. Um, I mean, but I always show love to LA. I mean, had Sugar Free on Oxymoron, Corrupt, had Daz and all them. When people were like, you know, they wouldn't put them on the albums. You know, I always been doing it. Right. I just, I'm just not like a. I did this. I did. It, I was fucking with that. You know, I'm just not that that type of guy. But I done a lot for the coast to keep it going and keep shedding light on it. So uh, you know, I do feel some obligation to put people on, but at the same time, they still got to be up to par. Facts. I don't feel like a lot of shit, I do, I feel like a lot of shit is hard. Yeah, a lot of people got potential, but I don't see like the, pe- the people that care, like I'm looking for people that care about yeah. music more so than Me just too. people that just it's got some talent. You know what I mean? Like, cause anybody can rap. It's like anybody can play basketball. It's like anybody can fucking get on the camera and fucking ask questions. Anybody can, you can literally, anybody can do any of this shit, but are you really skilled and really gifted at what you do? Yeah. And that's what I think where we're in right now with all rap, not just LA, cause a lot of people like to bring LA, but bro, this shit's happening everywhere. everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like LA, LA, hip hop is up like, bro, this shit is, what's popping in Woot Wop? What's popping in Woot Wop? What's popping in Woot Wop? It's like, all right, you got one artist, bro? Like, like, you think that shit like, oh, this is living. Like, no, bro. <laughs> it's one fucking artist, bro. So like, no, like, you know what I mean? So it's happening everywhere. But I think it's just to the point because, you know, rap is looked at as like, not that cool. Even being a good rapper is like, that's not cool. Like, oh, this motherfucker rap good. Motherfucker a joke on you for having bars <laughs> now. Like, like crazy. what? Like, yeah. oh, I take rap serious? Nah, bro, you take that shit too serious. Just put that shit out. Nah. Bitch, I'm talking about my mama, bro. Like, right. I'm not just life. like, bitch, I'm talking about like actual people that died, not like your imaginary dead homies you be having. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about people that I never see ever again that got 40 years. You know what I'm saying? At 16. I'm talking about that type of shit. And motherfuckers, that's what I'm saying. Like, these motherfuckers grew up a little different. Uh, they grew up on the internet, so um, they're not really out there like that. So they don't have a lot of feelings, a lot of connections to a lot of things. So um, a lot of artists now are just like, you know, 
I'm not depressed. I'm not depressed. Fully fucking depressed. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> they just like just making this this. I'm not depressed music, but you know, it's either I'm not depressed or I'm super emo music. You do know you I mean? encourage artists to at this point, like knowing how the, the the industry is in the game, is there more of an encouraging level? Like, man, okay, how how would you encourage somebody to to step into the industry, or do you just say, man, stay away from it, let let the dust settle, or like, what what is that conversation when uh, artists are trying to get on? At this point, I don't know what to tell somebody about the industry. Mm-hmm. I know the industry is dead, like rap industry is dead. Think so. No, it's done. It's 100% done. In what way? Like, what do you mean? I mean, they just, they fired everybody in the music industry. They literally just did it. The same people that's having spots right now are the same people that already had spots. They just get rid of people and they're realizing, you know, like, rap is where it's going. It's in its uh, rock face because we allowed it, artists and the other side and the media and we the all media. allowed it yep. we all thought some we needed it we such and such need us we all thought that the labels thought the artists needed them the radio thought the artists needed them and the artists thought we we knew everything and knew, and, and now we all in this whole thing where we thought we thought we knew something and now we realize we didn't know shit and now they cutting every fucking body and you know the goalposts of, you know, at the time, you know, numbers used to matter. And now, like, in this climate in the last, like, three years, well, barely, like, the last five years where people didn't, the whole number thing is, like, kind of out the question because it's, like, don't even matter. It's more so about shows and touring and, like, Merch. merch and shit like that. But the sales is a, also an indicator of where it's going. You know, like, uh, yeah, the industry. So they, you know, they couldn't budgets, like. But as a, so as a rapper, <laughs> how, how do you feel being amongst all this shit? Like, is I mean, like- shit, I'm, like I said, I'm lucky. I'm already schoolboy Q, so it don't really affect me. I feel bad for the younger generation, like, cause they have to, play the game because the label is killing the album. Uh, the playlist is killing the album. Um, us putting out eight versions of one single because streaming is down. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. It's killing the album. Yeah. Like you got eight versions of the single. So when I click on your single, I see eight. That's a whole fucking album worth the layout. So like, what the fuck is the album? like? You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's why cohesive. can one single carry a whole album, though? So your single is selling or streaming a million times a day. That should have carried your album into whatever. And that shouldn't... Why does a, a, over a thousand streams count as one fucking sale? Like, make some of this shit make sense. Like, you know what I'm well, saying? You came, like, up, you came up in the Magic Disc like us. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. So yeah. do you prefer... You preferred it? as that way or you i mean of course i mean we actually got paid for selling records then you don't get paid for selling records now like (laughs) like you know what i'm saying so that's why another thing why it don't matter we all realized that like bro we were selling when streaming came it was just like we were selling you know what i mean platinum this platinum that this that and it's like but that shit wasn't hitting like when 2014 went platinum. <laughs> like that shit was a different check. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Versus the streaming check. You know what I'm saying? Like I was blessed to see both sides. Right. Like when Oxymoron did his thing, that shit was all physical. And um I was a different check. Don't you think it's harder though? <laughs> Way different Don't you think check it's harder though? Thing. Like being that you it's rare that first of all, you still exist in 2024. Yeah. It's not that many artists that are still relevant and exist in 2024 that was putting physicals out, right? Yeah. Don't you think it's harder to sell physicals and people that's putting out music now don't really know that? I think it's harder to sell streams. Really? Bro, you have to get 150 million streams, cuz, to like, 
it one sale or some shit like that. Like like for platinum or some shit like that. Like one hundred and seventy five million streams. I don't I don't yeah. know the number. It's a crazy number. But listen to that number though. <laughs> right. I, that's like you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, you need a hundred and something million streams, bro. That's way harder than fucking, especially with the the how much shit is pumped out every Friday. It's hundreds of songs, so people are constantly on to the next, on to the next. Like it's I think it was accessible. easier to sell albums yeah. than being put in the algorithm and having to last in this algorithm of people always dropping songs. I think it's harder now. And that's why we don't really see the younger superstar anymore. We'll see a, a a big hot guy, but there's no way that it's still a big three. Yeah. That so they call it. Yeah. A big three. Ten years later, there's no way. Like it makes no sense. Since when in the history of the game has the big three lasted? Damn. Fucking it's fifty came right, through. Right, right, right. Uh, ja Rule. It was like mad people that came it was through. Cute DMX. You know what I'm saying? We can go down the line, like. I mean, these motherfuckers been at the top. <laughs> right. You know, I'm not just right. building a big three, so clearly I'm not like hating. Yeah. But I'm just saying, there's no way that these motherfuckers been the top three artists for over a decade. Yeah. And we're not seeing what's, you know what I mean? Yes, it's a lot of young people like that's killing it, but they still haven't, I don't care what you say, they haven't surpassed. A um, couple things, a couple more things. We um, Studio sessions, you... Um, <laughs> You re recording Blue Lips, it's been a process years, mm -hmm. right? Well, you have the lyrics, yeah. Compose the music. It was a communal effort, but a lot of the lot of the uh, album. Well, well, you I guess you started out during COVID, during quarantine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Had your birthday party in the studio. Yeah, yeah. Um, nobody caught COVID nope. until like it was like over with. Over. It's crazy, and that's crazy to me because like everything was shut down. Y'all still going to the studio on the low. Yep. How was you? Shout able to out to that studio too for letting us go because they shut everything down. Not gonna say the name, but not gonna say the name. Right, right. But uh, shout out to that studio. Uh, I've been recording because you was in years. there. You was you was in there, fool. Nah, me and Mustard, low key. Facts. Uh, shit, me and Mustard been recording in that studio for a year. Me and him been in the different rooms and that's the funny thing and we don't got no music <laughs> why you don't got nothing that's with that's mustard we just be always cooking we just like you know we come in and we get straight to work we just straight cook right that's my boy though like you what, know what i what i what like, I that's my about, super boy i like, noticed about mustard too y'all both treated like a nine to five like yeah, we go yeah, to the yeah. studio and then i'm off at six seven i go be my kids yeah, i go work yeah. out like i ain't finna be in a 2.30 in the morning, all that. That like, shit a waste of time, bro. Like, you realize that you just, just sitting there chilling and, you know, you got to go chill with your family and do all the shit. Like, you you really only got four hours of, of, of prime, of, like, extreme of focus throughout the day period. Yeah. You only have four hours. That's it. Uh, you're 24, so. Damn. Find that four hour pocket of your best, you know, your creative pocket, whatever time that is, and Locking. and do it. For me, it's in the morning, like eight in the morning to 12. Damn. But when I'm working, I'm there all day. But once I break through, I I break it down to just four hours. Um, the people was pulling up on you in the studio though. Yeah, I know yeah. YG pulled up. Yep. Uh, I heard Nelly pulled up. Nelly That's pulled random up. as fuck. But, random as fuck, bro. But, we just chilling and, and somebody was talking to Nelly on a FaceTime. And then I'm like, what up, bro? He's like, oh, what up, bro? But he lived around the corner from me. Got you. Um, he he lived like right around the corner from me. We never kicked it. And um, he's like, I'm about to pull up. I'm like, all right, about to pull up. And the motherfucker actually pulled up. I'm like, motherfucker, Nelly. So like, he he walked. Album, bro. Wow. Like, his motherfucker walked in the studio, and I'm like, bro, that's fucking Nelly. That's really Nelly. <laughs> he just pulled up Dolo. I'm like, bro, well. And we both drove out. And the funny thing, we drove off, drove home, and drove the same way. <laughs> like, hey, what you, where you going? <laughs> like, but now nah, we've been living around each other, like, living around the corner from each other for. Years. So you don't see these people and be like, man, hey, let's get one in. It's more just like, nah, I never asked to get one in. I think that's a, especially certain certain people. Once you like at a certain higher up, right, right, I respect right. you as that, and I just let you be that. Um, I don't like, oh, let's do a song, let's do a song. Yeah, you know, like, you know, nah, 
I honestly don't even really want to. I did one with Corrupt, and that's that's low key as far as I can probably go. Got you. Uh, with Corrupt, um, I don't. I really don't want to work with nobody. There's, there's my, no my list idols. that you got. Oh, know. with the idols, I have yeah, the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, we I got too much respect, and this what I hear from them and what I heard from them. I don't think I could ever match whatever they did. You get what oh, I'm saying? So it's, it's 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 on a quality level in terms of like yeah, creating, like these are like my idols and shit. I like, want to stay a fan type shit. Yeah, yeah, like corrupt was like the only because I just felt like he's just an alien and he can like come to my world type shit. Yeah, but not even that on disrespectful way because that could sound disrespectful. But I mean, like I just don't want to rap with my idols though. I feel that. I really don't want to rap with Nas. I don't really want to rap with Snoop. Don't want to rap. You haven't didn't rap with Snoop. Nah, and I love Snoop. I hate Snoop crazy. all the time, too. But not as much. Would you get but on something if he, if he wants you on his record? Would you do something with him? Or are you still... You... I would love to write something for him. It I wouldn't. Was... I don't think I would want my verse. Wow. On there. That's bro, that's Snoop Dogg, bro. It's Snoop Dogg, bro. Every time I hang with him, and I hung with him a lot of times, I can't believe I'm with Snoop Dogg. You know what I'm saying? That same thing. Every same. time he say my name, AQ, hey, blah, 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 I just like Snoop Dogg Great. say Q. Every time, bro. Like, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like so, like. The first time he called yeah. me nephew and said I'm family, I felt yeah. like I made it. <laughs> yeah. I felt like I made it. I'm like, yeah, Snoop, like fuck Snoop, me. Y'all can't tell me nothing. Like, it's Snoop. Bro. Um, okay, last thing for me. Um, I never really heard you. You know how, like, athletes, I hear a lot of rappers complain about the label and this and that. Q has never complained. I've never heard you Shit. seen it. I've never heard you complain. <laughs> I've never heard it. You just weren't listening. You know what I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm talking uh, about from an aspect of blaming other people. You, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You take a lot of, you, you might I'll complain about shit, but yeah, you know yeah. I'm saying? You don't blame people for, oh, mm -hmm. this album, nigga, the label didn't promote my shit or nah, never nah, do nah, that. Nah, You've nah. never done that in your whole, in, since I've been knowing you. Um, and I also saw you say, I think it was on Drink Chance, I seen you say, like, people always blaming the, like, oh, top is not the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, do, is that just because you take accountability for Q? Or is that because you feel like it's, it's, it's really not, that's really not the problem? Like, it's always your fault, bro. Once you realize it's always your fault, bro, it's, that's, that's, that's it. Everything is your fault. Literally, everything is your fault. Everything. No matter what it bro. is. Yeah, like you put yourself in that circumstance. You put yourself in as a man. I'm talking as a Fact. man, and that that that's that's aware of what's going on. Like I said, once again, some people don't come for where, where of the awareness part of you know they were raised different. So we got to be a little more patient with certain people. Yeah. But when you're aware, um, it's your fault. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are aware of what's going on and. They just let things happen, or maybe it get better, or maybe the, the next thing you know, you in this hole, and then you're like, "Oh, what's going on? It's your fault." This is, you just like, bro, it was your fault. You could have corrected that way earlier. You signed the deal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, um, I'm not here to, you know, ain't no, I can, no, I never blame the label, uh, for anything. I mean, granted, I had a crazy success in my career. Um, I don't have like no nightmare stories and shit like that. But um, yeah, like blame. What, what I'm gonna blame top for about? I just think uh, that like, what I'm gonna blame Interscope for. Like, what they they never could do nothing for me anyway. Like, uh, top gave me a fucking studio. That's all he can do for me. Like, oh, he can't do nothing for me, but give me a fucking studio. Time. Don't, don't make <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? This motherfucker don't write music. Like. But you think that <laughs> if he was a marketing genius, you think he follow and he gonna try to get some two new dudes, to, to all the new dudes? This motherfucker ain't no damn marketing genius. Right. You know what I'm saying? We were just trying to get to it. And we figured it out. You know, it was our fault. It was we had the ball in our court. We no, actually we didn't have the ball in our court. We had to wait for next. Then when we got on the court, we really ran motherfuckers off the court. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's just like when you get your shot. Motherfucker, take that shot. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't blame the label. Like, you know, uh, they don't understand me or they don't under Yeah. Bro, you don't understand you. You should be able to convince him. Like, we we 
convince people with words, we get people to move. You mean to tell me you couldn't convince that motherfucker? Like, <laughs> you got to be knowing how to talk. Yeah. Like, you ain't slick enough. See, you ain't ready. Maybe you ain't ready. Right. You couldn't even convince the motherfucker that don't even, with no, you know what I'm saying? That don't even create. You can even convince him to get on your team. So maybe you're not ready. It's you. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you, you a rapper. You the problem. You slick. Yeah. You're supposed to be slick. Yeah. You're supposed to be able to talk your way into or out of whatever you want. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's what we do. Like, are you good at this shit or not? Like, you know what I'm saying? Once again, it's like, our motherfucker ain't feeling something. Make a slap that they like. That, I mean, especially if you got, all right. So, like, Top had wanted me to make that part right basically yeah i had blank face and i didn't have like i, I was like great with guru tone this is even we did this on oxymoron too but he was just like bro i feel like you should have like a big record like why not do it and you know me being stubborn i could say which i did it's like no nah, man this is the album blah 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 sure enough i end up getting the record from cardo and I make that part, and why not? Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Like, why not give him that that part or make that part, which benefited me too. It, and it's tremendous. like you, you get what I'm saying, and uh, and, and and get to keep the other 18 fucking songs. Like, God, you mean that you can't anyway. compromise one time, like, or whatever it is. Like, it's a, a you know, sometimes as artists too, we don't want nobody to say shit to us. You know what I'm saying? We think we know every fucking thing. But on this album, on Blue Lips, that doesn't exist. Because, like, no, 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 you no. just did Q, right? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because you said I you mean, did that with that part on Blank Face. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. But also, Collard Greens and Man of the Year, you did the same day. Yeah, because for, they wanted... Because they wanted a single. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I already had studio made. You get what I'm saying? Gotcha. I was just like, oh, we got the single. Like, you know, but as an artist, you just be stubborn sometimes. You, like I said, you don't want nobody to tell you nothing because you can't write, bro. So what are you telling me? Like, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, this is, this is, he's part of the process. He's been listening to the records. He's been, ooh, up. he's not just walking in and then saying something. He's been listening to the records, you know. He's been listening and, you know, maybe try it. Yeah. <laughs> like what he's saying, and Why maybe you... it works out, and it worked the fuck right. out. Right. Why so. nothing? Um, since studio sound like that, because I did that. Just move on to the next. And shit's easy. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I can do that shit all day, especially R and B records. I can make them shits all day. We got an R and B Q album coming. Maybe when we got I'm eighteen like, more albums coming. Yeah, so yeah. Who sure knows? You might get R and B. Beyonce in the uh -huh. Beyonce pissing all them white people. But so look, my thing is this: don't ever put me in no other category besides rap. I'm okay. a rapper. Okay. Even I like if I that. make a country album, I like that. it's rap, bro. It's rap. Like I'm gonna always have rap elements to it. Like, so what? It's collard greens. Though I call it a pop record. What does does that Hell not make no. me a record? I mean, a rapper. I mean. And that's a pop record. It's a, it's a popular record. No, like a pop. Yeah. It's like Collar a pop Green's song. is a rap song, fool. No, that's a pop song. Everybody keeps trying to tell me that, bro. That is a pop song. Okay. Collar it's your Green's record. Is a you pop can call it what you want. But you're rapping on it. But no, yeah. And that's what I'm saying. That's okay. Like, I mean, studio is an R&B song. I'll I mean, accept that. You get what I'm saying? I, like, I'll take that. It's a like a like a. I mean, it's not like a good singing R and B song, but it is a R and B song. But I'm a rapper, so You're I don't want my shit to be an R and B. Fool. You know what I mean, huh? You're rapping on collard green. No, for sure. But I mean, pop is rap too, though. All they doing is rapping. They're just white, like. <laughs> and then we came in, and then it's like you know, we act like we wanted to fit in the pop when like. Mm. Rap, we already took from everything anyway. So why are we trying to still separate ourselves? Like, I hate when rappers come out and be like, yeah, I'm doing an alternative album or I'm doing this. I was like, bitch, just do the fucking album. <laughs> you're a rapper, bro. I'm sorry, but you're a rapper. You're the highest level of music, bro. We play instruments. We are the best poets. We the most entertaining. You get what I'm saying? Motherfuckers want to dress like us, motherfucker. Like, you know what I'm saying? We're yeah. literally every fucking thing. Don't put me in no fucking pop category. Though I 
Like I said, Collard Greens is a fucking pop song, and y'all not about to take that from okay, me. Okay, you all right. I mean, it's a fucking pop song. All right. But it's your record. You don't put, put my shit in pop, if that makes sense. <laughs> don't <laughs> We're going to have to get you know down if you put my shit in pop. I'm a rapper. We're going to get but out. I'm self aware that I made this pop song, and I loved it, and I picked that beat, and it was like, this is what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing, too. Like, it's no limits. Like, to, like, don't box rap in either. Like, we came in, you know what I'm saying, t biting from other genres and shit, like taking and, and like making it our own thing. Like, don't don't strip me from that. Like, Something I never asked you before. Sorry, this is last time. Uh, have you ever rewrote a verse? Because all the time. Okay. I re I, 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 I argue with somebody about you about you and Dot's collard green verse back and forth. Like, as for like, it, it always happens with the J Rock and the Money Trees verse. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas always be like, man, I don't know. J Rock kind of, I think J Rock got him, but that's my personal opinion, right? Yeah. But it's a debate. It's a barbershop argument every time. No matter where I go, like these conversations happen. So when you go in and you rewrite the verse, is that because oh he got me, or is that because like I just don't fit the song? Uh, or both? I, I probably don't like it. It's never about he got me no more. Okay. When I first came in, yeah, but. I don't think Dot was uh trying to like have the better verse. Me and my man trying to get it, yeah, bitch, yeah, bitch. No, 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 no. He was trying to make a song. Right, like, right, right. Like, like you know, like at at some point things do evolve. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we are competitive still in rap, but I mean, I think now, like I said, we're the highest of genre. Oh. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Oh, we made it. Country, you're fuck out of here. Rap is the <laughs> highest form of fucking music. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. And um, I think that, you know, he was making music. He was songwriting. Songwriting, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, 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 songwriting. Like. That's what we all saying. Like, yeah, we were saying rock verse two, but me and my name gotta get it, you bitch. You bitch. I don't gotta eat that nomin, you bitch. It's like, it just catch you soon as you. So, yeah get to it like i think that's just as good as having a harder verse and honestly starting a song off and catching people instantly is harder than going second i'm like sorry to tell true. people that the john is truth like hearing somebody rap off the layup off the backboard and win the verse is impressive yeah, yeah. but in reality all us musicians that do it know that the first four lines that were said was way more impressive than mm -hmm. anything that dude said. Because it, it, it got us to that. It yeah. even got us to that fucking verse. I feel you. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, songwriting is like, I think songwriting versus I'm, I'm on your head to out-rap you, like, control verse. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I think that's different from, like, songwriting, if that makes sense. I feel you. Did you think it amount to this right here? Cause I when I'm when I'm looking at you, Q, it's, it's funny because I remember being at the apartment. Yeah. And you know, you used to pop in every you know every few yeah, weeks yeah. or whatnot, interview or not. And I remember one particular week you came in, you was like, hey, man, don't tell nobody, but I got signed. Like you know, yeah. what I'm saying I got I got mm. a deal. And that was like an important moment because you know I've seen you grinding up into that point, right? Yeah. So now here we are. We talk about you know, ten some years later, and. You mentioned how, you know, your idols like, you know, the Snoops and the Corrupts. And it's like, if we're being honest, when we talk about hip hop, especially in Los Angeles, it's Death Row and TDE. Yeah. Right? Do you, did we you win? Huh? We win. So what I'm saying is, <laughs> did you <laughs> did you think that it would get to this point at, in those moments? Uh, yeah. We were trying to get signed. Yep. Once we once I met K Dot, yep. We won. Don't care what nobody said, we dropped more albums. We sold out more arenas. We didn't beef. We made, yeah, we won. But I'm all, but at the same time, Death Row. Out of respect for Death Row, um, I'm a, I would I would vote for Death Row, but if we being realistic, we win. What's funny is I wouldn't even have a comparison conversation. Yeah. I, I, I mean, people how, was doing comparisons about us, but, but I'm, I'm saying, sorry, being, we being win, bro. Regard, you know we win. Yeah. Fuck that, we win. <laughs> we can go with their biggest artists versus ours, and we win. I'm sorry, we win. I mean, but, you know, Snoop was a fucking... I don't think nobody on our label compares to Snoop. 
well, Snoop transcends rap, music. Yeah, yeah, Snoop yeah. I a, think I think that's like, where where we win is the the soldiers. Yeah. When it comes to Snoop and Dre, they win. But Pac. He don't really count. <laughs> to me, to me, that's like uh I mean Dre is like he didn't I don't he's a producer, so like, you know, composer, like They got you know, two classic albums as a rapper. For sure. As a producer. Okay. As a composer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, yeah, yeah, we'll say yeah, that. Yeah. Um Wait, hold on. You said Pac don't count? <laughs> he stuck on I that. Heard, I heard the joke. Nigga, your favorite rapper is DJ Quick. That don't even... One Pac, not one even... Of, it's Pac, Quick, and Snoop. You know what I'm saying? So. De- Pac don't count. Is he... Well, you can count Pac. Let's you, see. All right, let's see. Count Pac. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's you see. Let me be realistic Pac. here. Let me be realistic here. If we talking about stardom, they win off stardom because it was only 10 rappers, first off. So they win. Oh, it was only ten rappers in the fucking world. So you get what I'm saying? Like, of course, everybody that's a rapper is a fucking superstar. First off, we had to compete with everything. We had to compete with YG. We had to compete with our future. Yay, Drake. With the J, the Drake. We had to compete with so much more shit out there that was cracking, and still hold our own. And not only that. We brought y'all SZA, who is the biggest artist in the world. We brought y'all Zaire Rashad, who has this underground legend. He's basically an underground legend, bro. Um, you got fucking J-Rock, you got Abso, you got me, like Kendrick alone, Soundwave, uh, Tay Beast. You got Ali, who mixed everybody's album in music. Um, we're going Suge versus Top. Top wipes the floor. Uh, I don't know who their president was. I'm pretty sure it was still Suge. Punch wins. <laughs> we're talking about videos. Uh, Dave and Dot, me. My visuals are always better. Uh, if we're going rapping wise, I'm watching a lot of them. I'm watching a lot of them. I'm watching a lot of them, but uh, I can't out slap them. Dre and Snoop are gonna, gonna out slap me to death, but they can't bar with me. Daz can't bar with me. Uh, corrupt can fuck with me, but I'm gonna win. Corrupt can fuck with me, but I'm gonna win. Uh, I can't fuck with Pac. Dot got Pac. Sorry, he barring him up. SZA, she got SZA versus Dre. That's tough. That's tough. But uh, but I mean, but then we go to the soldiers though. Like they ain't got no J Rocks. I'm a soldier too, but they ain't got no J Rocks. They ain't got no Absols. They ain't got no Isaiah Rashads. They ain't got none of that. Um, they don't got no. Yeah, we got a new artist coming up, you know. I don't want to put them in there yet because they haven't broke through yet. But I think we have more artists break through and this. gave you <laughs> gave you more albums. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, how many albums Snoop gave you on Death Row? Snoop is more Snoop Dogg than Death Row to me. Correct. Give me that. Dr. Dre is more Dr. Dre than Death Row. Uh, Tupac is more Tupac than Death Row. Correct. Yeah. So that's my whole thing. Like we're like <laughs> go like we're like Golden State Warriors. We were all drafted. They were like put together. I you get what I'm saying? Like, we're like, you know I, what I, I mean? I they were that. like the Miami Heat. Like, all right, we're gonna get Super LeBron, we're gonna get Cut Cut. We were drafted and did what we did. They were like put together after already having success. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different. Yeah. So when it comes to comparing, we win. That's Man, crazy. I'm, I wasn't I'm, even trying to compare. I'm good. All I just well, said. Well, I'm just letting people know I'm right? comparing now. I'm, I'm comparing now. Yeah, yeah. And these are my fucking yeah. idols. You That's know what I'm saying? Thing, and I, 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 I done gave a lot of, you know, I gave a wow. lot of compliments. Yeah. You know, I, yeah. I can't. <laughs> Snoop is my idol. You yeah. know, I can't out slap Snoop. I never reached I Snoop not, heights. I, I, I never reached his heights. 
But I'm just saying, the rest of y'all, I'm wiping the floor with y'all. <laughs> I'm wiping the floor with y'all. Right. Danny boy, you no, out. We good. You got it. Danny hey, boy, you don't have a chance. <laughs> Let's, hey, we hey, got yeah, it. All I, the rest of them, they don't have a fucking chance. I, I just want, I wanted to end on this note. When did you know, or when do you know, because you were talking about the feeling of making music, that the album was done? Because then I also heard that you were just done. Just leave it alone. But then you made Blue blue Slides after. Yeah, yeah. You so, just, I mean, I, when, I, when I say you leave it alone, I mean more so like... Um, Like you just abandon it. Like you just like it's like all right, fuck it. Nothing else I can do to it. Yeah. And you've been putting it together this whole time, and it's together. And now you're just like trying to figure out how you can switch the together when it's like already together. You know what I mean? It's just like, like I said, because I put out bodies of work and catalogs about my life. So, so I put this out there about my life. Am I leaving something on the out, or do I? Am I going too far? Mm. You know what I'm saying? With certain things, like sometimes you want to save a line for the next one. Like I got shit in there that I took out for the next one. Wow. Mm. And I got shit from this album that I was saying in Crash Talk that I took out for this one. So it's just like, as long as you, that's why ideas are never stop. That's why I know I got 18 more. If I can live to do it, mm. like I got 18 more. Like, cause I'm just constantly talking about my life. Like I got shit to talk about now. I came to this motherfucker in Tarzana and you know what I'm saying? And why you gotta go get your kids. I yeah. can, that's a whole scenario of of what I can come up with. If I constantly talk about my life, I never run out of shit to say. Like right. that's what I'm saying. Like all that slap shit, motherfucking gonna run out of slaps. Right. I'ma still be rapping about my <laughs> life. I win once again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I win. I'm telling you, I win. Bro, hey, listen, man. Uh Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, man. I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? You've been you've been the same consistent. Like you ain't really He's I, involved. Outside no, He's I'm involved. talking about I'm not talking about that. You nah. I told him that, but I'm saying you haven't like you you kinda of almost are worse than you used to be. <laughs> like, you know, like not as a man, not as a person. I'm talking about like your level of fucks to give is not even like you used to give a fuck. About yeah, certain yeah, things, yeah, yeah. what people said, what people would, but it, that comes from a lack. That comes from a place of lack. Now yeah. I can tell, like you more rounded and whole. Like you say, I got a family. Like I'm concerned about other shit. Yeah, yeah I yeah. noticed that you're not really. Even when I be seeing the way you respond to people on Twitter, it's not like the Vince Staples show, for instance. Like Vince Staples got a show out. That's the only thing that matters. Like go watch that shit right now. Like that that cue is like a whole cue. Yeah. That's not bitter Q. That's not drugged out Q. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and I I think that that's like dope. You know yeah. what I'm saying? To see one of the homies like evolve. Into, even you. I told him the same thing. Thank like you. when he went cold turkey, we had a conversation. He went Don't cold. Don't go cold turkey. Don't just go cold know. turkey. This is not a cold turkey uh, endorsement. No. no. But I'm just saying like, I applaud that. Like, yeah. And also as a father too, like I applaud that. Too. Thank you. Thank you. And, and Props to y'all for still holding it down. We ain't never you beefed know? either, for the record. That's what's up. That's what's <laughs> up. I never beef for any of my homies either. Yeah. Um, I don't believe in that, like, we got to run the face. Like, we got to get in, bro. We ain't over. friends like that. Yeah, I'm too articulate. Over. If you punch yeah. me in my face, we ain't never going to be cool. No, nah, yeah, we never. Ever, <laughs> ever. Like, At this point in my life, yeah, you can't put your hands on me and we'd be cool. Right. And you can't say something too far. Right. You know, so, like, is it really that serious sometimes? But, you know, shout out to y'all holding it down for years from the apartment to radio to still jerking, you know what I'm saying, over 10 plus years and, and, and keeping L.A. music and journalism like alive because I don't even know what shit is no more. I don't know if it's journalism, it if it's interviews or if it's a podcast. Anytime I show up to anything, you know, so that's another reason why I don't do shit do anymore because it's like what the fuck am I showing up to it's I like, just make it a point I, <laughs> you know what I mean I never want to participate in the circus that's that's, a, yeah yeah that's out. Cool circus out, out here. out here I'm not out. a clown and I don't want to yeah audition. yeah yeah so I'm, yeah it's that's my whole thing too it's like if I don't so I, like, at this point if I don't know you I, I just can't even it's nothing to talk about <laughs> you know what I'm saying it's like it's nothing to talk about shit listen to the music um I got a bunch of people that I can go to that with platforms, and you know, shout out to y'all for still yeah, having the platform. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. Appreciate the time. And, and yeah, hell yeah. We look forward to the, the continued evolution of. Oh yeah, too, we man. got eighteen more to 18. go. That's great. 
Like, 18 more. You heard it. <laughs> 18, 18 more. No room to retire, man. <laughs> right, Tony Boy Radio, Chuck Dizzle, DJ, and Schoolboy Q. See y'all next time.